Hello everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here today bringing you another Bleach Immortal Souls video. Today we're going to be talking about the season pass that I'm really, really excited about. I'm wearing my Denver Nuggets gear because we also got basketball scrimmage starting today. Another week or so and we're going to be getting back into sports. But to what you all came here for, like I said, we're going to be talking about the season pass, my thoughts on Yorichio, and what she's going to be like as a character for my squad. So stay tuned. Let's roll it. Hello everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here with another Bleach Immortal Souls video. Today we're going to be talking about the Season Pass. I'm really excited about this brand new update that came to the game and it's very exciting. I love this. I've only seen it in games like Fortnite and other stuff like that, but I'm so excited that it's coming to this game. I really think it's going to be more common in mobile games coming in the future, especially with the whole supposedly legal gambling aspect with gotcha pulls and orb pulls and all those things. So this is the season pass. There's a basic level, the blue top part, and then there's an elite level that you could spend 25 bucks to get the elite. But I did just the top blue part because we're free to play, of course. And you can spend your soul jades to get those levels, or you can actually do game things in the game, like experience and like doing your dailies and all that kind of stuff, and you'll go up levels and all that. But I was purchasing with jades. I did, I think, I think I did 900 already purchasing in the jades already to get to this level and stuff so we're going to keep going actually i think i did one one more so at 1800 so we're going to be going into there hopefully getting some more i want to unlock yorichio that's the goal and as a free-to-play player this is a great kind of event to be saving your jades for so let's go in there and see if we could purchase some levels and everything and i'm excited about her because she's definitely going to be a good character for my team I think she'll make her way into my team for sure. I'm still debating on working in Toshiru or her. I need to see who works better with my lineup and who's going to benefit me more for story mode and all that stuff. Right now I'm on chapter 8, so I'm kind of stuck at that 8.8 .8 mark. But here's where the purchase goes, and you could purchase. I usually do 10 levels, which ends up being 900 jades. and gets you that discount right there, so it takes off to 100 when you go all the way up. And then we'll go up another 10 every time it asks you to purchase too after if you want to do the whole big thing and everything alright then we'll be able to unlock her, we'll go in and we'll upgrade her and everything so all those prizes, we got all that stuff and then we'll claim everything just to see what we got got some chests, some tonics, some upgrade stuff for our relics and everything and our war souls So it'll be a nice little pull today. And there's a battle arena thing too. Ticket we got. A roulette lottery ticket to spend on the roulette wheel. Which is pretty cool. I like that aspect of the season pass as well. The roulette wheel is really cool. And now that we have 50 Yorichio shards, we could unlock her and combine them. Alright. Now this is the roulette wheel. When you get the tickets, you can spin the roulette wheel. And then you can get, oh wow, an awaken essence. Way to go. Nice pull. You want spins like that. You want really good spins, those kind of things. I don't know, tonic, just that's basic. Come on now. Oh, we got another, what was that, another roulette ticket. Sweet. We get an extra spin. Awaken Essence. Sweet. So now we got two of those. Those are some couple good spins. But I'm really happy with this season pass. Like, I can't wait. I wish... Some of the other mobile games that I play would definitely introduce something like this. I think it would be very beneficial to the game. People keep the like the public happy and stuff. You know, they got to work on it. Work on some better characters to introduce into it. But I'm sure down in the future, when Season Pass Season 2 comes out and Season 3 and all that stuff, we're going to be getting a lot more cooler stuff. So, very happy with this. Get some random Soul Stone box. Let's open that. So, we got some gears. And that cool new frame, I love that. That was the new frame, too, I got from purchasing some of the levels with the Soul Jades. So, jump in there and see if we can upgrade your Richio a bit. There she is right there. Is the, but I'm going to keep my avatar the same. I like Mario right now, his little avatar. There she is. She's already stronger than Chad and everything, even at being a level 1, which is kind of crazy. So, we'll enhance her a bit. 
And I think I'm going to take her up to level like 30. I'm going to I'm going to make her usable. I want to make her at least really usable. And like I said, test her out and see what we can do and how she fits into my squad and everything. All right, we're getting there. That's the only thing I hate is like sometimes I wish you could select the level. Like I love the quality of life features in this game, but that's one little thing I would tweak is I wish you could select the level. And you could press and hold to use the item too, but I sometimes I do that and it's just, nah, I don't like doing that. I wish you can just go like, I want to go to level 30. And then it just automatically puts all the stuff on there for you. We'll unlock this. In non-PVP modes, block chance and block pierce chance of all characters are increased by 0.8%. So that's, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. We'll enhance her a bit. The only problem I've seen with her that most people are complaining about is that she's a single target damage person, which does kind of suck in this game, especially when it comes down to hitting the back row, which is a key that you want to be able to do. So having AoEs or moves that penetrate to the back row is always a benefit. We have her War Soul unlocked, so we're definitely going to equip that once we get ourselves a decent War Soul for her. So, yeah, we got the bond going. Get some increased attack by 15%, so that's good. Overall, I'm very happy with the Season Pass. Hope you guys enjoy it too. And like I said, spend your Soul Jades on this, or you could spend the 25 bucks and everything and unlock the Elite part of it. But overall, very excited about this. Hope you guys are too. Can't wait for Season 2 of the Season Pass. This one's around for, I think, like 50-something days, 55 days, something like that. So definitely be a great little addition to this game for sure. I'm very happy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner for me. Catch you all later. Peace out.